If 
you were to make a decision and you know that decision will bear a lot of important things for your offspring into 2,000 years in the future, will that be easy for you to make? Oh, this is a big deal, right? It's not just about us, right? It's about 2,000 people who are going to be able to make a decision for the future. This is a very, very important task, right? Because the decision that we are making today it will impact our children for 2,000 plus years for many generations to come. I talked to many families that decided to migrate to the U.S. I asked them why. Many of their responses were because of the future of my children. Better opportunities. And yet, this is the desire of the parents, and I discovered that many of the children that were brought here, they decided to go back to their countries. This is telling us that we do not see the future, we only do the best that we can. And here, the same thing to Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul's desire was to share the good news. He wanted people to know about Christ. And for him, anywhere that he can preach God's good news is so good already because you know that is doing something good. That's right. To Apostle Paul, it's even better, right? Especially if he can preach to the Asian countries that is nearby the area. But here we see that God is telling Apostle Paul, it is not time yet. Over here, Apostle Paul mentioned it twice that the Holy Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ, did not allow him to go. And over here, we have to ask why? It is not because God did not want to help the Asians. But God has a much more higher plan to help all the world. It's almost like people are drowning your children and then your friends and your friends and your children and you have to decide which one to help first. Who will you help first? <laughs> Our sister Zongzi said, you ought to help me first because I'm the mom I am you're indebted to me. But yet sometimes when we are a mom or a parent, we have to think of our children first. There are just so many reasons in surrounding what we would decide to do because one of the factors that we would look at the age is like, wow, the children, they still have a long life ahead of them, but for someone who is old, their life is pretty much numbered already. And this is what Apostle Paul must learn from God, and it is not just for a particular group of people, but it is for the whole entire world. Oftentimes, when we make a difficult decision, we only look at things that are surrounding us. And we cannot see beyond into the future because we just simply don't know. And this is why God must help and also reveal to Apostle Paul why he must go and preach in Europe instead. 
รรมดาในเมื่อเราอธิษฐานให้พระเจ้าช่วยเราตัดสินใจนะครับบางอันก็พี่บางทีพระเจ้าบอกผ่านทางพี่ใช่ไหม Sometimes when we make certain decision, we pray, we read God's word, and an answer may be there in God's word here in front of us. บางครั้งพระเจ้าส่งผู้ใหญ่บางคนมาบอกเรา Sometimes God may send other more experienced adult people to come and tell you. แต่บางครั้งพระเจ้าให้เราฟังเห็น But sometimes God may give it to us in our dreams and vision. และบางครั้งนะครับเราเห็นนิมิตถึงขนาด Yet sometimes we really see vision of the future that is about to happen. ความฝันกับนิมิตต่างกันตามความหมายของพระคัมภีร์นะครับ Dreams and if a vision really clearly speaking they are different. ความฝันเรื่องมากคือเรานอนหลับแล้วแล้วเราฝันเห็น Dream is when you are actually asleep and you actually see the pictures. แต่นิมิตบ่อยครั้งเรายังไม่หลับนะครับเราอาจจะเคลิ้มนิดหน่อยเรายังรู้ตัวนะครับแล้วเราเห็นภาพอยู่ในเห็นภาพ Vision is when you are not quite completely asleep yet but you are not totally conscious and yet you were able able to see all of those images or things that are happening เราจำได้นะอาจารย์ยอนนะครับเห็นนิมิตติดต่อปัญญานานจนเขียนหนังสือวิบอลแน่นอน We remember that Apostle John he see the vision it was such a long vision The Book of Revelation. Therefore, Apostle Paul, this particular vision was so clear that he was that he saw a Macedonian man who was pleading for him to come and help. Ask Apostle Paul, do you know why? You ask him, Apostle Paul, understand why? No, he did not. But he obeyed God. 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 God. But he obeyed 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 God. Are we more intelligent than God? Are you more talented than God? The answer is no, no, no. But because we tend to have this tendency that whatever I want to do, I will do it. วันนั้นท่านตัดสินใจทั้งทีเราจะไปยุโรป But Apostle Paul that day he obeyed and he listened to his vision he bring the whole team to Europe instead. ผมบอกว่าเวลานั้นจาบโรจะไม่เข้าใจทุกสิ่งแต่เราเข้าใจมากกว่าจาบโรนะครับเพราะว่าผ่านมาแล้วสองพันปีเราเห็นว่าทำไม We know that at that time 2,000 years ago Apostle Paul did not know much other than obey God but now 2,000 years later we are able to see some of the reasons. The first point is that the Asian at that time they were not ready to accept the gospel yet. Two thousand years ago, where were we? We are not Thai, we are not Vietnamese, but we are not sure where they are from. We know that at the time there was no country of Laos or Thailand. We are not sure where our ancestors were. We were not ready to accept the gospel. We were not ready to accept God at that time. And we also see that the disciples of us, Apostle Paul, they were European descendants, they were the Greek, and they were the Jews in that area. They were European. God actually prepared these young servants to serve their own people first. Why do we need people from the European country to come and help us? Why do we want people that came from that particular ethnic background to come back and work with their own people? The answer is that this is what we need. We need people from that background to come and work with our own people. The answer is that this is what we need. The answer is 
go back to that country. Sorry, it's only the spouses. But now the situation has changed. It's been 300 years, but it's been a long time. But right now we are seeing some, uh, you know, changes that these agencies are changing their policy a little bit. But this is 300 years late already. So that God has put his hand on it. God has revealed the truth. But we need to hear the voice of God. Therefore, God always made the right decision, the best one, but it just to us whether we would obey and listen or not. I see a lot of missionary friends nowadays and I ask them why did you decide to go to that country or this country? What I was expecting or wanting to hear was that God wanted me to go there but usually the responses are not so. บอกว่าทุกอันมันปิดหมดไม่มีที่ไหนเปิดที่นี่เป็นออปชันเดียวที่เหลืออยู่ไม่มีแคนาลฉันก็เลยต้องไป They say all the other choices is already closed it's not available and this is the only choice that is still available for me to go โอ้นี่เป็นคำตอบที่ผมไม่ทราบจะเรียกว่าอย่างไร This is such a response that I don't even know how to call it ผมไม่อยากจะโทษความไม่ชีวิตนั้นทำผิดนะแต่ว่าผมว่าปัญหาในที่องค์การทั้งหลายผู้นำ I do not do not want to Place the blame on that missionary, but I think it's the mission organizations that have the structure of policy in place. So now, I'm saying to you, we have to listen to the Lord. Then, what do we do? What do we do? The correct thing is that we ought to listen to God. The correct thing is that we ought to listen to God. The correct thing is that we ought to listen to God. The correct thing is that we ought to listen to God. The correct thing is that we ought to listen to God. The correct thing is that we ought to listen to God. The correct thing is that we ought to listen to God. The correct thing is that we ought to listen to God. The correct thing is that we ought to listen to God. The correct thing is that we ought to listen to God. The correct thing is that Apostle Paul did not know at that time, but through history, 300 years after that, we know that the whole Roman Empire became believers. From that emperor, their generals all the way down to the general population, they accepted Christ. ประกาศข่าวประเสริฐพระเจ้าไปทั่วหลายทวีปนะครับผ่านอาณาจักรอำนาจของรัฐบาลโรม And this particular empire, the Roman Empire, was the one that will carry God's gospels all over the different continents. แล้วในเวลาหนึ่งพันกว่าปีนะครับที่อาณาจักรนี้สนับสนุนคริสตจักรให้แข็งแรงเติบโตออกไปทั่วทุกทวีป For about one thousand years, this particular empire was the one who actually were behind the missionary works in that region or throughout the world. And then we will go on and send the gospel to the world and to all the nations. Europe became the foundation that would be sending out missionaries all over the world. And yet, they even came to the, come to the U.S. และในอเมริกานี่เราก็ส่งพิธีกลับไปในเอเชียนะครับ And from the USA we sent missionaries back to Asian countries เอเชียท่านรอได้เกือบ 2,000 ปี Asians have to wait for the opportunity for 2,000 years เราเป็นคนเอเชียจะบอกไม่ยุติธรรมทำไมรอต้อง 2,000 ปี We Asian may declare that was not fair why didn't we have to wait for 2,000 years ผมคิดว่าคำตอบคงต้องไปถามพระเจ้านะครับ And I believe that to get the answer, we must ask God ourselves. We are not ready. We are not ready. We are not willing to accept God's answer. We are not ready. We are not willing to accept God's answer. We are not ready. We are not willing to accept God's answer. We are not ready. We are not willing to accept God's answer. We are not ready. We are not willing to accept God's answer. We are not ready. We are not willing to accept God's answer. We are not ready. We are not willing to accept God's answer. We are not ready. We are not willing to accept God's answer. We are not ready. We are not willing to accept God's answer. Twenty-second century, twenty-first century. Asia will come back to Europe, back to America. The Asians shall carry God's good news back to Europe and also back to the USA. I'm with Paul and Lara. We're going to visit Europe. We're going to visit the Church of the Old Guard. It's been a hundred years. We're going to visit the Holy Land. There's no one there. Mr. Paul and myself will be visiting. European cathedrals and churches, these were churches that were 
We receive everything because our ancestors believe in you. Please help us that we would obey you for the sake of our future generations. For those that will be born after us, that they will have a place that they can hold on like you know. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. May God bless you all.